Hello everyone, my name is K. Raghvi and, and today's video is brought to you by Tevitron Technologies. As you already know that we are surrounded heavily by all kinds of, of electronic equipments that makes our lives easier. With time, technology is going to progress really, really fast. So, Tevitron Technologies here is to provide a training on many electronic devices that you can interface to your microcontroller board and much more. But before we proceed, I'd like to give you an introduction to the company and all the things that we are a part of. Tevitron Technologies is an electronic chip design company focused on VLSI design and embedded systems, PCB design and nurturing the ecosystem for the same. The company was co-founded by Mr. Anurag Gupta and Mr. Rajiv Tiwari, both of whom have a 14 plus year experience in the fields of VLSI and embedded systems. Tevitron is a member of Indian Electronics and Semiconductor Association IESA and a member of Arm Connect program. Corporate offices in Noida, Uttar Pradesh, branch office in Patiala, Punjab, overseas office in Berlin, Germany. Founders have also worked at companies like STM, Texas Instruments, Intel, Apache, and Wipro. And now, all the fields that Tevitron Technologies is actually keen on working on includes the Internet of Everything or IoT, Automotive, Wearables, Healthcare, Mobile Application Development, Smart Cities, and Smart Home of all the products or projects that we are a part of which includes the iSmart bin, the iSmart meter, the iSmart switch, OBD based car systems, driver behavior based systems, disinfection systems, memory based healthcare, beagle bone, card watch system, the BEL missile guided car, biometric based systems, evaluation boards and shields. And now the new products that are actually available in the market includes the iSmart bin, the iSmart switch and the iSmart car, all of which you can know more about by visiting our website. Customers and alliances include ST Microelectronics, Arm, Cadence, Element 14, Noxia Technologies, Freescale Semiconductor, Chenictix, Psycon Tech, Bharat Electronics, IESA and Faith Biotech. Now that I've told you what we do, it is time for me to actually tell you how our training can benefit you in terms of your career in the electronics design and manufacturing market. What we teach here is an entire introduction to the Atmic i8 microcontroller and this is a 15 day program. How you'll begin learning this would be, we'll teach you the AVR registered descriptions and the internals of the microcontroller, also including all the peripherals that can be made use of in a project. We will begin with the basics of GPIO and then proceed to buttons, ADC, I2C, SPI, timers, interrupts, EEPROM and all other features that you can make use of using the Atmega 8 microcontroller. Now, I'd like to show you all the hardware devices you work on, so let us proceed. This is your AVR microcontroller baseboard with the shield. This is a 16 cross LCD which you can use to display alphanumeric values. This is an LDR module which you can use to detect the amount of light present in the environment. This is an infrared sensor module which you can use to detect obstacles over a small range. This is a PIR sensor which is used to detect proximities over a 360 degree angle. This is a keypad module which you can use to interface on projects that require a button input in the form of numbers or alphabets. This is a DC geared motor which you can use to provide rotational motion. This is a relay module which you can use to control AC appliances using an AVR Atmega 8 microcontroller. This is a servo motor that works on the principle of PWM and can provide rotational motion in terms of steps that is 1 degree rotation. This is a dot matrix LED display which you can use to display alphabets, numbers or symbols.
this is a SIM 900 GSM GPRS module which you can use to build your own projects that makes use of a SIM card. Next USART module would be an HC05 Bluetooth module which you can use to interface to your AVR Atmegaic microcontroller and control using Android apps. This is an RFID module which also works on the USART. And these would be the cards that you would need in order to detect different people based on different projects you're working on. This is a touchscreen module which you can use to press at different places to get different values and according to that you can write your program. This is an ultrasonic sensor which is used to find distances. Here is an accelerometer module which you can use to detect acceleration changes on three axes. That would be the x-axis, y-axis and z-axis. 